All right, today we're doing some real talk. I am so excited to share a strategy with you on how I generated 35 sales in 11 days without prospecting a single soul. This, my friend, is so exciting because I don't know about you, but for me, when I think of time freedom, I don't think of spending all day or day up in people's inboxes, sending message after message, just one-on-one. -on -one. I love creating leverage, and I know if you wanna create more time in your life to do the things that you love, you want to create more leverage in your business as well. And being the attraction marketer that I am, I wanna teach you my ways. So stick around because in this video, I am going to reveal to you exactly how I accomplished this. My name is Jen Johnson and I am here to educate and empower you on how to build a profitable business by design, incorporating faith, passion, purpose, and all the favorite things that I absolutely love about marketing that work for me that I know can work for you too. So I'm going to give you seven steps that I took to really start attracting people to me, getting people to raise their hand versus me having to hunt people down. I love passive marketing. I like creating passive income, residual income, and I love all the strategies that really allow me to cast a wider net impact more people and create results without me having to hunt people down one by one. I know a few people who love the hunt, I'll be honest, but for most people, they love the idea of creating more time to do what they love in life and be able to have their business working for them instead of constantly working at the computer 18 hours a day. So if that's you, let me give you the seven steps to help you be able to create this type of result in your business. So the very first thing that I had to do was I had to create an offer. I had to sit down, I had to look at all the different products and the services that I offer and think, what do I wanna focus on as far as delivering a solution to my audience? So that's exactly what I want you to do. I'm gonna give you some action steps right out of the gate here. I want you to write down all of the different products and services that you have as an offer, and I want you to pick one to focus on, and then comment below and declare the date you are going to start focusing on presenting that as the actual solution. As we move further along in this video, I'll explain how to do that, but I really wanna know a date of what you're gonna be focusing on and when you're going to be delivering that, so I look forward to seeing that below. Once I have my offer in front of me and I know what product or service I wanna focus on for the next few weeks or however long that looks like for you, I love to survey my audience. It's really important that you keep your audience in the loop and get their feedback to make sure that what you're about to create, what you're about to present, what you're about to promote is something that they actually want. So more than likely you're building an audience that is hopefully wanting the products and services that you offer they love the content that you create. But again, you always wanna make them part of the process and make them feel a part of that journey with you and let them make some decisions on the type of content that you're creating because after all, they are your viewers and they are your customers and your clients, right? So make sure you just go into that community or on your on your social media platforms and just ask, hey, I'm thinking of doing this, Would, who's interested? And really see what kind of feedback you get because sometimes you you might knock it out of the park and you already have an idea of what your audience wants, but you wanna see how many people are interested. And there's other times where you might say something and you get complete crickets and you would think, oh my gosh, I totally thought my audience wanted this, but it turns out they're looking for something else for the time that you're currently in. So again, survey your audience so that way you're getting some feedback before you go into creating a whole campaign around an offer. The third thing you wanna do is you wanna decide how you're going to deliver content that leads to your offer. So this could be an ebook or a webinar or a video series, a challenge. Challenges are really hot right now. So what way do you wanna be communicating the content on the front end to your audience so that way when the time comes towards the end of whatever that presentation looks like, you can 
can deliver that solution on the back end. I'll tell you all of these ways work and there's so many other ways as well, but you just have to pick how are you going to communicate this actual content and information that you're gonna be creating on the front end. You just have to pick the way that works best for you to be communicating with your audience. The next thing you need to do is you need to create front end content that leads to your offer. So this is free content that is very valuable, giving extra juicy nuggets and tips and hacks and all the things that we do. So you wanna deliver that on the front end because this is where it builds trust, it builds a bond, it builds communication, it shows that you know what you're talking about, and then people start to trust the solutions that you're going to lead them to. So this is a two-parter. The first thing you need to do with front-end content is figure out how you want to create that content. Are you gonna do it as a video? Are you gonna do an audio series? Are you gonna do it as through tip posts and actually writing it out? What does that look like? And then you need to come up with those actual content pieces that will lead to the solution that you have created as your offer. Now here's a part that so many people miss. You need to promote the heck out of the content on the front end because that is the content that is going to invite people to check out that solution. So don't forget to promote. There's all the different social media platforms that you could be promoting on. You could be doing it via email. You could be doing it via many chat. You could be running Facebook ads. Come up with your promotion strategy and really figure out what are the ways that I can go out and get this in front of as many eyeballs that care to see it. So that way you have all the humans coming towards you that would love to gobble up all of the offers that you're creating. So I don't know if you noticed, but we're really building this offer backwards. We're thinking of the offer and then we're coming up with the way we want to deliver it. Then we're coming up with the content on the front end. I know a lot of people who think I just have to create content on the front end. I need to do my Facebook lives. I need to do my YouTube videos, but really those need to be intentional and you need to figure out, okay, where am I leading people? And that's why we reverse engineer this process. So you've come up with your offer idea, you've surveyed your audience, now you've mapped out all of your content and you've been delivering your content to lead people to that offer. Now it's time to deliver the solution. Think about this, have you ever been on a webinar? If you go to a webinar, it's always free content on the front end, but you know at the end of that webinar, someone's offering up something. You know what I'm saying? They're always delivering the offer at the end of the series. So whether it's a challenge or a video series or a webinar, the process is always the same. You're always going to deliver the free value and then create the solution on the back end. And lastly, you always want to include a sense of urgency because people will always take action when they know something is about to go away. So I really strongly encourage you to really think about how you're gonna create that urgency. Maybe the cart's only open for a few days or maybe you're only allowing so many people to participate. Whatever that looks like, you always want to create a sense of urgency because people will take action when there's only a limited time. If you don't believe me, go watch the Home Shopping Network tonight and let's see how that works out for you. <laughs> We're all guilty of knowing that when something's about to go away, we don't wanna miss out. It's the fear of missing out, FOMO, right? So make sure you're including that sense of urgency on the back end when you've presented your offer that it's only available to either so many people or for a certain period of time, so that way people start to take that action. And at this point, if you're thinking, Jen, what the heck is attraction marketing? I'm still trying to figure that part out. I definitely wanna link you to a video where I show you how to build your business on social media, practicing attraction marketing, so we can dive deeper into what the heck attraction marketing is. So I would love to hear your takeaway or aha moment from this video. Definitely leave those below because I love to get in conversation with you. Be sure to click the bell to subscribe and a like. Give me a little thumbs up if you liked today's message. And if passive marketing is your jam, you love this style, you wanna dive deeper into attraction marketing, I definitely wanna invite you to check out my Turn Purpose to Profit Mastermind Inner Circle, where I dive really deep into the tools, the systems, and the strategies that you need to build a profitable business creating this type of leverage so you can start to generate sales, whether you're sitting at your computer or you're hanging out with your family or you're doing something fun with your friends, that is the true lifestyle for Freedom. I would love to help you create my friend and until next time God bless